Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to have a quick look at AOMI, Open Universal Machine Intelligence. And as you can read, it's a fully open source platform that streamlines the entire life cycle of foundation models from data preparation and training to evaluation and deployment. And they say that you can uh, easily scale it. So from models from 10 million parameters to 405 billion parameters. And it's quite easy to set up on Intel and AMD. I also tried it on ARM and RISC V, but I ran into some issues with uh, Python packages that were not available for the other architectures. And I tried building them, but yeah, I, it felt as if as soon as I had uh, found a solution for one problem, I just ran into another one. And at some point, uh, yeah, I thought, let's try it on my AMD system. And then it was quite simple. Um, yeah, so if you go to the quick start, they say all you have to do is pip install Almi. Now, um, See if it works like this. Um, no, doesn't work like that. Okay, so if we try pip install Aomi and we're on Ubuntu, and then we get the message that we're that we have an externally managed environment. So, but you can install it with pipx. Uh, and when you don't have pipx, then you can just uh, install it like this. And then you should be good to go to start with Aomi. And well, the first thing they want to start with is training, but yeah, I want to investigate that a bit more because I assume that you need to have some data to make it train on. So, so as they say here, I'll pack a clean data set. Um, so, yeah, in my opinion, that's not the easiest thing to start with. And I think the easiest thing to start with is inference. Now you can see that they use a certain uh, structure of the directories. So what I did was, um, yeah, I just created a directory, Almi and then just follow this structure. And then this YAML file. So what I did was just uh, copy this text and uh, create a text file here with this name and then you should be good to go and that it will uh, download the model from uh, Hugging Face. Um, yeah, I tried also to work with Llama 3.2, but unfortunately, uh, first you have to agree to share your contact information to access this model. So um, if 
you want to try to download it directly with Almi, then you get an error message. So, uh, but now that we have this configuration file and we are inside the directory Almi. And then we can just copy this and then start it. So the first time it will take longer because it needs to download the model. But here you can see that it has started the model. So if we say hello, then the assistant says, hello, how can I help you today? Um, what I do notice is uh, I'm not really sure if uh, the answers are cut off in the model or that it is just some setting. Um, yeah, it's the first time that I'm working with Almi, so I also have to investigate things a bit more. But for instance, uh, what is the highest mountain in the world? Then uh, you might think that it that it is the complete answer, but you can see that here they opened something and wasn't closed. So for instance, what is the meaning of life? Then it's clear that it cut off the answer. So again, I'm not really sure if that's just a setting or um, but yeah for me the most important thing is is that first get things working and then make it work properly so i think i have achieved the first stage make it work and let's see yeah so for a full list of recipes, we can go to the recipe space and yeah, you can see that you can do inference. Uh, I think SFT is training. Uh, evaluation, I'm not really sure what that is, uh, but here, you just download a YAML file and from the YAML file it will know where to download it. Uh, but yeah, for instance, like with uh, Llama 3.2, uh, yeah, first you need to agree uh, with the terms and conditions um, before you can actually download it. So just with a clean installation, then uh, it will error out. But there are quite some options. Um, yeah, and if I really want to have a go at training, then I need to do some more homework. But yeah, the good part is, is that getting the inference up and running, that's fairly easy. Uh, I'm not really sure if you have to follow this uh, structure of the directories, but yeah, since they are using it, then I'm just following it. And I think that will make things easier just to copy the commands and then it will work without having to figure out like where do all the things go and where do I find them. So. Yeah, I think that uh, if you want to have a go at training a model, um, 
yeah because they also have like a very small model with only like millions of parameters instead of billions of parameters um yeah then i think also with uh modest hardware perhaps you don't even need a gpu with the smallest model uh, that you can start experimenting with training a model so yeah for me um, I have to investigate this further and I'm also going still going to try to get it up and running on ARM and RISC-V but this is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video